An emergency department shutdown over fears coronavirus could spread in Mount Druid Hospital. It is concerning when any patients or staff are exposed to COVID. The ED was closed temporarily and cleaned after a man came seeking treatment on Saturday because he was unwell. His symptoms were consistent with COVID and yesterday his test came back positive. He did spend some time in the emergency department whilst awaiting the test. As a precaution, we are ensuring that all staff or patients that may have had inadvertent contact um, are assessed. The man in his 40s has been transferred to Westmead Hospital. His wife has now also tested positive. How they contracted the virus is unknown, so too is how long they've been infectious. We're now focused on determining the exact time of this gentleman's illness. It may be that he's been unwell for a while. There were three other new cases of coronavirus in New South Wales, all are linked to the Barala cluster. As the cases continue to be in Sydney, Victoria has opened its border to regional New South Wales. People in Greater Sydney will still be banned, but everybody else will be able to apply for a permit and, when they arrive in Victoria, get tested and isolate until they receive a result. Obviously the situation in regional New South Wales has improved and uh, looks good. Currently, uh, my assessment is really based on the fact there are no active cases in regional New South Wales. Western Australia has made it clear it's not budging on its hard border with all of New South Wales anytime soon. The idea that you tick along with the virus and somehow that is a better model is wrong. And uh, I just urge the New South Wales government and people in New South Wales uh, to look outside of New South Wales at what other states and territories are doing in order to crush and kill the virus. It's apparent Gladys Berejiklian's management of COVID is increasingly at odds with other state leaders and a big reason they're quick to shut their borders to New South Wales. On the issue of border policy, Premier wants change and a more collaborative approach. We should allow each other to have input into those processes rather than just being told of the decision. Outside of National Cabinet, that seems unlikely. Ashley Raper, ABC News, Sydney.